Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm out on another walk. And this time I'm in Binstead, which is near Arundel in West Sussex, just south of the A27, where unfortunately there are plans to plough an Arundel bypass the A27 uh, through this wonderful place. I wanted to come along and have a look at the church, St. Mary's, and then at one of the ancient way markers. Come and join me. So on my, on my right is this beautiful old 12th century church, which I want to go and uh, have a look of inside. Um, and it sits in Binstead, this rural parish and village. But unlike uh, nucleared villages, you know, the villages that are, the houses are all set around the, the village green. This is all set in beautiful farmland. They're all basically, as the Saxons may have had them, um, just farmhouses, uh, the roads around, farmland, beautiful meadows, marshland, that sort of thing. So I'm going to get over here and have a look at the church. We get our first proper peek here. There's a car with a couple of yappy dogs and then we'll walk through the gate and already we see these the daffodils are out which is absolutely fabulous and we'll make our way up you can see that this church is built of flint and is um, really just a one-room church no chancel I think initially it was one, one room and then maybe extended. We've got the uh, porch here. We'll go all the way around before we go in and have a look. We've got a little bell cot on the top with a, with a weather vane. And we'll take a little stroll around the side, all the way around. And you can see the countryside here. In its day, of course, when it was built, it would have been the only stone building, the largest building in the area. Like most churches built in that period, there would have been, of course, your timber framed structures here. Um, but the church, naturally, the hub of any village. It's still in use, of course. It looks magnificent with the, the daffodils coming out. We're filming in mid-March now. And before I go any further, look at this beautiful old tree here with uh, the hollowing out on the inside. Still alive, a little bit of ivy around it. Let's go in and have a look inside. I understand that uh, there are some, the remnants of old wall paintings, murals rather, and uh, the pews I think date from something like the 14th or 15th century. So it'll be interesting to have a look. The door is already open. And in we go. Like so many of the rural churches, of course, it's, it's quite dark. You've got a rude beam above me, which I think is 14th century. And then we go into the, what is the chancel now? We've got all the very, very small windows here. And these old pews. I don't know if they're the, they're the original ones. They look pretty good nick for 14th century. And then down here, look at this beautiful font, lovely carving on here. Isn't that amazing? The uh, stone masonry is um, exquisite, really. You've got your north, north door there as per normal. So you'd have your processions going around. And over here, I think, you have a little picture which um, highlights some of the, the wild grasses here. Stinking iris, knapweed, ox eye, daisy, herb, robert, sun spurge, lime, common mouse ear, all these sort of peculiar names. Um, and that's something I'd love to go and learn more about. But yeah, an absolute beautiful church. Let's get a better view of it from across the, the walled graveyard here. 
some stunning, stunning trees. But look at that. I mean, it's just, it is just incredible. Do like visiting these little churchyards. They're so peaceful. And of course, they wouldn't have been quite as peaceful back in their day. They would have been busy. I mean, the knaves, this is what something that people don't often realise, is that the knaves was very much used as a, as a church hall um, because it was the only stone building, the, the only place if it was raining. Um, animals would have been brought out there, markets would have been held there, you would have had church ales here. Lots of, lots of activities. All that now has, has been lost. And here, look, planted a little oak tree with, yes, our oak apples. I definitely appreciate the daffodils here. I think uh, the, the carpet of yellow there is absolutely magnificent. But Binstead, sadly, is blighted, or at least potentially going to be blighted. When doing a little bit of research for today's walk, just to visit the church, I realised that there's a huge protest going on to save the countryside around Binstead, because, if I come back through here, you'll see here, next to this car with the yapping dogs, no option 5a the arundel bypass the arundel bypass it seems is going to cross the country and blight this ancient area so in my second walk i hope you'll join me i'm going to explore some more of that and i'm going to find the uh, the carved way posts that have been set up at the edge of the village but for now from Binstead's St. Mary's Church. Thank you for watching and join me again on the next one. Till then, goodbye.